I'm Megan. And I'm Wendy. And today we're making a favorite in our house. It's called reindeer food and it is super delicious. Is this a tradition? Family tradition? Family tradition. It's my husband's mother's recipe. She makes it every year. It's just a Dr. Depp Chex Mix and everybody loves it. I'm excited. Okay, so let me quickly just give you the ingredients you need. We use corn checks, rice checks, wheat checks. Could you use one kind of checks? Yes. It, they have kind of different textures that add to it, but not necessary. We also use dry roasted peanuts, mini marshmallows, pretzel sticks, chocolate chips, and the vanilla candy coating of your choice. I bought this because Target sells it and I was trying to get everything in one place. We usually use the Wilton's candy melts. So we're just gonna get everything open. You are also, before you start, you're gonna need two parchment lined cookie sheets ready to go when you're done. So we're gonna start with, ooh, the measurements are not precise. I was just gonna say, it's not exact. No. <laughs> Three cups each of corn, rice, and wheat checks. When you serve this, you just keep it in the pantry. Oh, you don't serve it, you just, just snack, snack on it. Mm -hmm. I like it. No science, people. <laughs> Okay. Is, okay, now is there a method here? Uh, I mean, a little bit. So then you need two cups of marshmallow. Oh my goodness. Now, could you put a peppermint marshmallow in this? You could. I don't know that I would love it. Yeah, all right. That's your call, though. <laughs> all right, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> there you go. One cup. You kind of don't want, I mean, it's fine. You kind of don't want them super sticking together. Yeah, that's weird. Because they're going to need them mixed around. around there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll try and deal with that. And two cups of the pretzels. And two cups of the peanuts. Obviously, these could be left out to make this nut free. I was just going to ask. They do add a nice crunch and saltiness, though, but the pretzels help with that. And I have definitely left out the peanuts in the past. Um, the Chocolate chips we're going to save to the end. Okay. Um, while you're doing that, you're going to want to be melting your chocolate in the microwave. The Candy Quick comes in this nice, <laughs> nice, fancy <laughs> melting tray. Otherwise, you're just going to want to um, put it in and you kind of do it at like one minute intervals. You don't want to do it too long because... It'll burn. Yeah, and it'll seize and then it'll be useless. So you kind of want to melt it and stir Once it. Once you have your tray of melted candy coating, you kind of want to work quick before it starts to harden. So you're going to just... Pour it over. And the reason you don't add the chocolate chips first is because they melt. Mm -hmm. um, you can toss them in the freezer for 30 minutes before you do that, and that won't really be a problem. Um, but sometimes I don't have the forethought to do that. <laughs> and then you just kind of dig through here and turn around. And as the candy coating gets spread around and covers everything, we're gonna go ahead and dump the chocolate chips in since it's not just such a mass of. Should I do that? Please. I have, how many? How much? The whole bag. Oh my goodness! I'm actually surprised the marshmallows don't melt. They don't. And the marshmallows are like, I think, the highlight of this whole mm -hmm. thing. Because they kind of get like a little dried out and chewy, which may not sound like a bonus. But it really is. And before we mix this, I kind of got in there and broke up those marshmallow clumps. Mm -hmm. So once you have kind of like a fairly even candy coating going on. Let me grab these pans. Sure. You're going to get real precise here and just dump it. In your partner's lap. Oh, <laughs> over Wendy. And you can use one or two. You can get it on one, that's just fine. And then you just kind of spread it out. And then you leave it. And you let it all, you let the candy coating dry. And once it's done, you kind of just break it up and toss it. Sometimes we just toss it in a big Ziploc bag. Sometimes we separate it into smaller little baggies to give as treats. If you guys have any of these like Chex recipes, um, leave it in the comments and let us know how we can change it up. I got a lot of Chex left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye. Bye.